The refs are just on the side, and I am doing a character for a Fabula Ultima campaign. For those who don't know Fabula Ultima, it is basically a D&D tabletop RPG uh, Final Fantasy. Even though Final Fantasy is never the final. There are so many things, and I'm just going, hmm, what kind of character should I make? Meanwhile, everyone just like, hmm, anxiety riddled, buff mommy. Meanwhile, me, gloomy yet fuckable. <laughs> I think 16 is after the final one. <laughs> I mean, Final Fantasy already has 14 and everything, so we're probably not gonna see that. But yeah, it's like, I love necromancers. And seeing that necromancy was a fucking thing in that book, and you can multi-class at the start. Meanwhile, me just going, hmm, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna make a necromancer. And it's just like, wait, what if I put the romance in necromance? So she's just kind of the deadpan person that will be saying all the weird shit. It's like, I wanted to talk, but you all were making out. And it's like, I'm sorry I bullied you. I was just trying to flirt. And she's got her little casting implement here with her bell that she stole from the inn that she was killed at by an avalanche. Good old smoke and everything. I'm gonna do a background of some icy things. I have this lovely reference that is basically just a pulled off lamp for her. Because why the fuck not? It's really cute. Well, I was gonna say cute and cool. Really like rogues. Rogues are fun, but meanwhile me, Necromancer was a base class, so I'm making that a base fucking class. You should have seen it with all the other shit just on. Like, seriously, if I turn on all this other stuff, you will be concerned. Like... Where is it? Where is it? Did I turn off everything individually? Yes, I did. Like, you 100% cannot tell what the fuck is going on with all that. So it's like, that is staying turned off. As well as that and that. I actually know I need to. Uh... Ah, that can stay off. Cause like, she doesn't need that segment. And that can also stay off. If you look at us in a TTRPG, I'd definitely be a rogue. I mean, rogues are good, but still. You like sorcerer for D&D? My favorite's druid. I'm not the nature freak, I just more or less just play someone that really should not be that, but they are. And it just works. It fits. Anyway, so I've discovered a way I like drawing by watching like three different people do it. It's like, they draw, like, something kind of sucky, but then they just erase that, which is really handy for my needs, because meanwhile me thinking, oh, this one's terrible, I'm not gonna use it. It's like, wait a moment, I can use it, and I just keep on going. Even though that one is kind of terrible. Anyway, I might go a bit quiet, I'm gonna try to do some commentary and everything, but still, meanwhile me just kind of doing everything. Uh, currently doing Divine Soul Sorcerer, that's kind of evil. See, that's good! Having a kind of evil thing that is a subversion of what is usually what people think is a really good character. Such as one of my druids, she is a bad druid, quote unquote. Like, she will freaking hunt constantly, she will, like, do everything, but she'll still, like, hang out in the woods and whatever. She hates most people, but she's good with kids because they don't have the greed of their parents in them yet by her, like, rules and whatever. Kind of like the kind older grandma that you have, even though she's, like, 30. Mm -hmm. That is not good. I'm just trying to make it so that she has a little bag of sorts as a, on a belt, sort of. That way it looks nice. And I'm just trying to make it coherent with this. So this would be more like that. I'm trying to also learn to like step back and away from things a bit more. Because I've noticed that a lot of my art needs that, but I don't give it time to like breathe or whatever. And it just feels a bit weird. But I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. Like that. See right there? It's like, oh no. Some of these lines are sucky. Too bad. I can erase. It's a tool, and I need to use my tools to my advantage. I can redraw lines, and with all my layers and everything, I can just erase over lines, which is so nice. I tried to do a fish person bat uh art, I assume. This whole thing is tricking the really, really dumb nobility who has a reputation of dread wizards because they did a magic trick with their hands. The campaign never went off, but I still want to play them. Mm-hmm. I want to 
run the potluck adventures again come summer, but I also have a million other tabletop things and video game stuff I need to actually build. And I also need to actually do my commissions because they've just been kind of hanging there since last year, as well as other drawings I owe people. So I'm going to be working on those a lot for my drawing training, for sure. And I'm going to tell people, it's like, hey, if you ever want me to like, redraw this at a later date, hit me up. Granted, some people I don't talk with anymore for various reasons, or they just disappeared off the face of the earth, but hey. Who knows, who knows, who knows. Yeah, it's like, my whole thing is like, I need to use my tools more. I need to play Twitch like the art, on a Twitch, I critter like the RTS it is, because it basically is nothing but fucking hotkeys. Like, oh no, whatever will I insert a layer. And we just call it that, and then we just go in and draw that line. Oh, I don't like that there. But I do like some of it, so we just erase that. And that's good. That's good line. There you are, you fucking fly. I tried to hit this fly earlier, and my fly swatter shattered on the wall. Granted, I got it for like 30 cents. It's a really good metal bit, but the plastic bit just decided to flop off like crazy. Ugh. I'm beginning to look a lot like Fishmen. Yes. Tabletop Cyberpunk? Never. Strong fly. I mean, I didn't actually hit it. It just... The swatter itself just randomly shattered. Honestly, if the fly was powerful, it needs its own fucking health bar. Yeah, it's like, just do whatever and make yourself happy. And then you'll be good. But yeah, I could just be... Hmm. I kind of want to turn off the staff so that I don't confuse the lines. Well, guess what I'm not doing? I'm not turning off the staff. Mm. Picturing a fly somehow catching and shattering the swatter. <laughs> See, that's just silly, and I love comics, like the standards. It's just adorable. So we just do a little bit of that in our life. And just kind of see how that looks. That looks good. So then we just erase that, and we're good. But yeah, I'm gonna try also to do some shading, cell shading, not like actual shading shading, because fuck that noise. And then we just keep on going with that there. And then we kind of just skid out of there. Actually, yeah, that's good as is. Oops. You are meant to be turned off, my friend. But yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's definitely better, and I feel more confident doing that, which is nice. Azura! Hi! Here's the first one I'm gonna be using for my Fabula Ultima uh, character, so. Mm. Yeah, Lyra's gonna be fun. <laughs> this is also the second undead person that I have made whose name starts with L. <laughs> and they're both kind of gloomy, but meanwhile, she's the more confident version of Lorna. <laughs> and I fucking love her. I love them both. They are my gay bitches. They are my sudden lesbian syndrome people. <laughs> the only difference is for Lyra, everything's fair game. Lorna has a type. She likes Amazons. I think she actually just likes bookworms, but still. Someone she can care for, but also hear ramble about random shit nonstop. I have to stop injecting random bits of myself into characters, but still, it will forever be. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm gonna say the same thing to say all my sparring arts. The single most rewarding thing to learn while learning is composition and affects every piece of art we do. Yes, exactly. That's one thing I'm like, I'm trying to get like fundamentals and everything's like, hey, you want to learn how to draw? Learn your fundamentals and keep practicing them and actually take back and actually see what you can improve for your art. Like this glove up here was fucked up until I actually changed that line. And it's like, hey, this pose right here, I love it. I love making her eyes. Her eyes are great. And it looks nice. And it's like, fuck it. I'm going to play the gotcha and make some shitty art before I make some actually good art. And then I'm going to be really happy because said art will look great afterwards. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Lunar. I don't think I'm a raving psychopath. Meanwhile, looking at some of my characters that are main villains, hmm, <laughs> freaking, uh, what's his name? I mean, Osmond I can kind of relate to, it's like, no, my creation, you destroyed it, 
versus me being like, oh, okay, I'll build it again. Meanwhile, this guy's just like fucking screaming the entire time. Oh uh, my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah. It's not like anything crazy is going on. Oh, we just do a little bit of this to not have it. You looking at your OCs? Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure many of my characters would get me arrested if I were to act like them. Given that half of them are just like, shoot first and ask questions later for a ministry alone. One of them's an actual fucking gangster. Like, will literally just kill you just because. Do not mess with Casey and their boys. They will come after you, and you will not be happy unless you want a giant freaking dog person coming after your ass. That's just me so <laughs> my head. <laughs> fucking no! We are not doing that. We are not letting you all become villains like that. If you have to topple something, topple the US government. Okay? Sensei's orders. Alright, let's see what we got here. What am I working with? Um, hmm. I can't turn off the green yet. Hmm. 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 Because the green's part of the legs. And I need to use the legs. I can soon get rid of the boots, but still. Let's be fair, they're characters, and at the end of the day, we'd never act like them because we play them to fulfill the curiosity of doing something you can't normally do. Ah, yes! The thing I want to casually do is aim a wand and gun at someone at the same time and fireball their corpse. Mmm. I mean, honestly, I would do that still. Because who the fuck wouldn't want to do that? Go, go, gadget, buckshot. I had one with the ultimate restoration of plans of all destruction. I mean, Kimi, your characters alone and your various alternate universe like versions of characters are really fucking good. <laughs> and it makes me proud that you can actually just be like, hey, this character was fun. Alright, I'm soon gonna have to do the good old legs. Leg! Alright, well, let's get this over with. That's the eraser. <laughs> oh, fucking. My mind is full of fuck. Because I have so many projects and things on my mind, I'm trying to focus on them. So, this is one of the things that I actually want to just get done because everyone's been badgering me. It's like, hey, draw your character for tabletop. It's like, fine! Or if it's just something of freaking ribbon like ears? Mmm. Correct. But still, it's like, I don't know if I'm just gonna have Lorna be, like, person-like, or if they're just gonna be like, hey, there's ears or horns under here. And it's like, the temptation to make them just an undead demon is really high. But also, it's like, why would I do that? She doesn't need it. But it would also be really cute. Uh, and would be happy dating you. Look, a lot of people say they'd be happy dating other people, or like people in general, but here's the thing, no you would not be because I am definitely not a crazy person. And I definitely am a crazy person. <laughs> Sensei is material to be looked at, I guess? I'm the eye candy. <laughs> I'm the bullshit eye candy generator and you would not like being around me. Because I'm the kind of person that would have, like, freaking... I need some juice in me to make my brain go brr. And there's just so much juice in this world, but so much of it that I hate. Because, face it, I fucking hate energy drinks. Meanwhile, me just sipping on my slightly caffeinated juice. Tastes like functioning brain. Anyway! Yeah. A lot of people would not like Sensei. Sensei is also a murderous psychopath, from contrary belief of what I've said earlier. Like, I ha I can actually wear the bitch I eat people shirt and mean it. Not many people have that luxury. 
And not like eating out, I will gladly do that. But still, um, no, I would gladly fucking just eat someone. You'd be surprised. I know, I'm kind of in the I can fucking mess her up category, but still. Uh, anyway. Is that good? Yeah, it's a good one. I can work this I belong in many categories and a mental institution. I'm surprised I managed to actually, like, explain to people why I'm not clinically crazy while also sounding clinically fucking crazy. It's like, oh, don't worry, the voices in my head are just telling me to murder everyone. <laughs> don't worry, you're not on the list. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello, train. You were not missed. That is a line that should not be there. Me on. Yeah, just kind of taking a look back at my drawing and just be like, yeah, yeah, that doesn't go there. There we go. You, you are number four. We're number three. There we go. Yeah, removing of the bad lines every so often is very nice for me to do. Anywho. I will take some hydrate, thank you. It is fun. It is fun to just talk about wanting to just topple entire governments and wanting to hate them all. But also not wanting to hate them all. Because I kind of live here. <laughs> I want to fix shit. I don't want to just destroy everything and go full score short as much fun as that would be. Um, let's actually go... Like, not pure straight. We can't go straight for her. She is a round character who has great personality and some sharp wit. That's why she has triangles in round. Ah, yes. Shape language. Everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. There we go. That looks good. Do I want dairy-free Ben and Jerry's, or do I want sour candy? Mmm. You're kind of feeling something sweet? Go for something that sounds weird, but works. Or both. Put the sour candy on the Ben and Jerry's. Become your own ruler. You are nothing without trying. Experimentation advance the human race, and you shall do the same. Or you might find out that's like a poisonous berry, and you fucking hate it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Or you might roll a three. I mean, I have milk and cookies, dairy free, and sour patch kits. I assume lactose is intolerant. I will save. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm saving. I'm not being a dingus. Do I have to drag you in here, Annie, and ruffle your fur? I will ruffle that tail. And I will drag you in here. I remember actually dragging someone by the scruff once. It was just weird for me. Because I'm just like, hmm, power. Yeah, people don't realize that tall usually means strong if you're in the right connotation. Meanwhile, me just being able to walk to school every day and fucking going up and down hills constantly made my legs very strong. So I'm just able to, like, fucking lift people. Not with my shoulder right now, but for sure. Is here right here eating popcorn and enjoying the show? She would! She 100% is. And I do not blame her. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> but yeah, Lyra's the kind of person who would wear like eight layers of clothes and then it's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm slim, whatever. <laughs> Naturally, yeah. Uh. And I can definitely pick up Tech and Annie. Then probably Ark. Actually, yeah, guaranteed arc. Tech is so fucking light. Like, they are very eatable. 
When they came to visit, I was just like, I immediately just said, I could fucking throw you. <laughs> You're gonna just to get some food, but have fun? Sure thing, Lunar. I might draw you later. Never know. If you're a good boy. <laughs> I had to. Uh, don't blame me. Blame the instincts. And you are going to actually probably be a bit bigger than I imagined you with, with the rim. We're giving her the rim job. She's going to get a better rim. Better rim to the jacket. Stretch my arm. So one thing I've noticed about falling off my bike and letting my shoulder rest, it flicks a lot more. So it's like I can just like move it and be like, hmm, interesting. I am more crunchy. So just being able to just kind of look at myself and just be like, I may be imperfect. My body's a temple that's falling apart, but fuck it, I want to be cracky and crunchy and everything good. Just so I don't break my neck and fall off my bike again, I'm gonna prevent that. So don't mind me if I take a little bit extra time going to work from now on. Or, you know, just not go to work at all. Hmm, that'd be lovely. I return with your sunflower ice cream. Okay, sunflower ice cream? Is it like sunflower oil or like sunflower flavor? How the fuck? That sounds delicious either way. Cause that is some Slavic ice cream then. Is my? Yeah, it's okay. I was just being wonky. Gotcha. All right. I'm just making sure it was like my pen isn't making bumpy lines. Cooks and cream flavored with Ben and Jerry. Oh, it's that one. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. There's this new place that opened up near me that is really freaking good. I'm still thinking about their fries because I had it on Wednesday and they were just tasty. And I want more, but I know I can't have more because that's extra money. But still, some other time I will get some more. Probably June-ish because I want to actually save some money this month. Um, you need to be more proud. Yeah, this is what I mean with like, hey, I can actually take a look at my art and be like, hey, this needs some adjustments, or hey, this needs some work. And it feels good. Because why not actually say, hey, I know how to adjust this, and actually how to use this. Hooray! Uh, this might actually be the change to... Mmm... Yeah, that looks good. So we just erase all that. And let's see how that looks. Let's see. Turn off the blue on the top. It's a bit wonky on the bottom, but I can work with it if I change a little bit up here specifically. Okay. So if I extend this a little bit and make her... Actually, I don't even need to extend it, I think. I think I could just split it and be good. Oh, shit! Get out of my drink! Well, get away from my drink. Just why? As I try not to break my glass, jeez. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the only issue with the multiple layer trick is that, um, many of the things can be messed with. So, yeah. Okay, let's try that. Put you on line three and let's see how you do And what if I do this? This? That. Yes, that is much better. Okay. Maybe. Maybe? Let's see. So we do this right here. Teresa burrito with veggies. You're already speaking my language. Let me just fix this line and I'll be all good. Uh, goal for summer, get a second monitor. I can actually fucking just turn to the left and be like, oh, that's what it is. Anyway. So we 
do this, we do a little bit of trimming here. Shave off a little bit of you. And we add a little bit of you. A bit bumpy right there, I can fix it. Music's ending. Fuck. Okay. You're starting to get hungry? I mean, I can make you a lot more hungry if you want to be. Do you want to be hungry? I can make you hungry. Uh, what sounds good? I've actually had some really good food today. I have... Fucking fly. Um, curry with rice. I made chicken, potato, onion, garlic curry with rice. It was really tasty. Uh, what's some good music to actually play? Let me actually get my summer playlist. It's becoming summer. I'm allowed to play it. Um, you. There we are. Mm, what style curry? Tikka masala style. It was really nice. Very tasty. I literally just like piling on the herbs on top. That was weird. Piling on the greens on top was good. Okay, shave off a little bit of that. Mmm, that looks better. And then one more a little bit here. There we go, that looks better. Now then, time to do this. So... I don't need it. Okay. But yeah, I like the thing where I'm just drawing everything and then just erase what I don't need. It makes me actually work faster, and that is what I needed. Very much so. Because it's just, why not, right? It's just a method in my toolbox that I have access to now because I actually read and got smarter. Because getting smarter is really good. And I just am happy because I can. Sensei doing learning. Uh, this is Untroden Tropics. It is by one of my favorite artists that actually is kind of small right now. But Nitro is pretty good. It's really good. I like it. But yeah, Sensei is getting smarter. The smarticle particles are hitting Sensei. Sensei's gonna be learning. But yeah, uh, back to what I was talking about earlier with the learning thing. I want to get better because I'm tired of, like, hating myself for not doing it enough. And she's like, fuck it, I may as well do it now. Want to know a trick for doing the inking when you have colored lines like that? Yes, please. Give me all the tips. But yeah, um, actually, tell me when I'm done with it right now. Because I am effectively just turning down the opacity and just drawing over them for the most part. And then it's just like, erase what I don't need. She sent it to me ages ago and like you get to actually make it again? Yeah. Oh, making good food is just one of my favorite pastimes. Fuck, I've been watching so much fantasy high lately, I'm just thinking about like, oh my gosh. Oh shit, that's not meant to go that far. You can go down to... Yeah, here. Okay, 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 there we go. And then we just focus you. And then I believe we can serious you. I'm actually just gonna use the focus because I wanna save time. Fucking. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching so much like D and D stuff. I wanna actually like get back to the tabletop things again. That's the thing. Uh, one thing that I've actually learned is how to enrich my environment so I don't have to worry about, like, everything going wrong and actually, like, thinking about what is good. Oh, that looks so nice. 
Oh, that's good to get rid of another layer like that. Mm-mm-mm. That makes me smile. But yeah, I need to get back to making games and tabletop stuff again, and that feels so fucking good. Make a layer of the group of color lines, put them all inside that group, and make a bitter filter layer inside of that group that the filter layer the HSV and colorize it to whatever color you want. So all of your sketch line easier to visually parse for doing the line inking. Fuck! Well, I mean, I kind of like being, hey, this is what I've got, this is how it's gonna be, and I'm doing my best, don't mind me. So, I will try that next time I'm actually doing some art, you'll have to show me because visual learner and for drawing for some reason I don't know why but it just fits best so um yeah <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how best to describe it and say it yeah words are words thank you Jack sorry just I didn't want to be condescending or anything anyway uh boots and leg so I'm gonna just do my thing and add more layer. Because I've been adding like so many fucking layers and it's helping considerably to like organize anything. Oh, uh. uh, it's good to actually have a playlist that fucking works. Because you know what doesn't like to work for some reason? My longer playlists don't like to play and I hate it. Yeah, it's like, I don't get it. For some odd reason, YouTube just hates long playlists. You have an idea for the Fabula Ultimate setup? Oh dear. What is it? So her butt goes like here, or something's gonna kinda. She's allowed to have some cake. She needs to be gloomy yet fuckable. And I will constantly say it. Okay. Get rid of this because we can. And creating my type. I mean, you're gonna get a lot of that when I make ministry proper. look at the thing here. Mm, how do I do that? I mean, I'm kind of creating, like, multiple panels so that works. So, yeah, that's good. For lopsided laden lantern. The reason I like using the filter is because I can set the filter to grayscale and get a, a sort of preview of the line it might look like. Mmm. That's good. That's a good idea. I should probably try that sometime. Anyway, let's actually get to clothes and make it even slipper. Because that way it can be really But yeah, um, that was actually one of the things I was, like, going through with my art things. Like, how can I actually be better? Because I keep on thinking, like, hey, what if this was a game? How would I go about it then? And I'm like, well, I would learn the strategies, and I would learn, like, how to use the mechanics and the tools, and it's like, wait a moment, what if I just played Crita like a fucking RTS game? So I'm just kind of learning the hotkeys more, which is kind of working in my favor, and it feels really fucking good. Because no matter what, I'm going to make decent art eventually. Like, I could say this is pretty decent. This is some of my art that I'm liking a lot more. Like, I'm showing some more mastery of things. I'm showing a bit more understanding. And it just feels nice to actually go through it and just kind of be like, yeah, I made that. And it's something that I can feel proud of, even if there's imperfections. It's just changing that mindset away from everything needs to be perfect. Meanwhile, it's like, hey... Good enough is good enough, but even though if you don't like it, it could be good enough for you later. 
Get one player or viewer simp over an NPC. It's an odd goal, but I hope I can make it work. You and me both, Lucky. Cheers to that. Because I know some people will look at freaking Alma for the Fate or TTRPG and will like, mm, mm, yeah, I like the cougar. <laughs> because Alma is effectively the smarmy older magician, but she's like, I think I made her like 42 or something like that. And I know like most people won't be like, oh, whatever. And it's just like, you do realize that she's still hot, right? <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Cool. Put animal ears on any character and they will be beautiful to me. Um, if you want something to go crazy over, how do you like, uh, short stats? <laughs> because they're not technically animal ears. She technically doesn't have any ears. She has ear holes. Uh, I need to redraw Chelsea. She is a Scylla that summons a whole bunch of things, and she will literally put you into a contract of gay scrolls and just make you do whatever the fuck she wants. And she is a cuttlefish. So she is a short stack Scylla, but she has the big sort of like thick tentacles for legs. And I'm going to make it so that a mechanic for the game is if she's running on any, like, smooth, flat surface, like, marble tiles, she'll just go <laughs> as she runs. It's going to be great, and it will get a lot of laughs very quickly. <laughs> because in the main area, when you have her first, it's all, like, sand, rock, and cave, and forest floor. But as soon as you kind of go into another area, you'll hear it, and you'll just be like, fucking... It's the little touches that make the characters endearing. And it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be so fun drawing her again because the first design kind of flopped. I don't like her first design for some of it. I'm going to redo it for sure, but she needs... She needs new stuff. Like, big time. And it's just whatever, but still. Like, Rita and Sherry are the only two designs I feel I knocked out of the park. Because everyone else so far, except Amudira. Amudira can use a little bit of tweaking, but that's about it. But everyone else, I've had, like, so many design changes. Zara has gone, like, three different ones. I think I made... Well, Zara has gone through some for her personality for the most part. But... Like, Chelsea needs a huge redesign. Oh, did I miss a chat message? You got some games on sale? Ooh. You're admittedly terrible at finding music to play for a long time. Yeah, it's just kind of sucky. Yeah, for some odd reason, my tablet isn't showing all the messages. Hmm. Because I have good brain juice. Hmm. Who likes their brain juice here? Functional and tasty. Now then. This is one of my favorite fucking songs in all of Pokemon. And I really wish they did more underwater areas. Like, seriously. What the brain juice? Is this, like, drink mix powder that I got? It's just really tasty because it actually doesn't have a lot of sugar. And I'm trying to stay away from sugar as much as possible because I want to actually fucking lose weight. But every time I lose any amount of weight, something happens. Like, the last Tuesday, not like Tuesday the 30th or whatever. Was it the 30th? Yeah, it was the 30th. I fell off my bike. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And then my body's just like, whenever I need to heal, it's like, hey, you want like 80,000 calories a day? It's like, no, I don't. It's like, you fucking do. And given that I can't work out the way that I want to right now, it's kind of a bitch. Let's stop. Would be nice if I think dive is oh, Unoni. Actually, you're wrong. Everyone forgets Unova had dive as well. And I'm still mad that it was never a fucking thing in Alola. The one that actually has too much water. And I'm just sitting here just like, Nintendo, Game Freak, 
You know what would be fucking cool? Dive. And it's like, sure, the Mantine Surf I saw was pretty nifty, but it's like, dive? Dive exists. Yeah, the ruins where you had like a set pattern. Do you know what, like, how great that was for me and my freaking obsession with making maps because of Etrian Odyssey? Dive in freaking Unova was great for me. And I miss that feeling. Fuck, I miss that feeling. Annie, when do you want to do the Nuzlocke race? <laughs> because I want us to get a bunch of RAM for our computers and just go full-blown, just stream non-stop Nuzlocke race. <laughs> you know what I'm about! <laughs> Oh, I gotta crack my uh, freaking wrists. Whatever you want, I guess. Okay, get in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna freaking do that. We're not doing it to interrupt the drawing stream. We're having fun. Also, yes, I will stream after you tomorrow. So, um, prepare. Be prepared. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like. I need to not be afraid as much, and it's just, it's nice. Because who's dealing with trauma? I'm dealing with trauma. Hooray! Always ask. <laughs> Have a nice night and nice night at the stream. Thank you. Not afraid. Drac, do not pull that up. We do not talk about not afraid. <laughs> we do not bring that up right now. Oh, that's, that's, um, that's a heavy topic. It's the same reason we don't talk about the moon, kind of. I was just leaving that as it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Introduce animated loops, sprites, and really cool 3D visuals that the Dino Pearl and Platinum hadn't quite perfected. Exactly. So, Azura, I'm going to be doing a lot of that, too. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, guess who has a capture card now? Mm -hmm. And I still have my 3DS. I could easily just pick up black, white, diamond, pearl, or platinum from the, uh, from a nearby game shop. And I would go insane. Because the DS Nintendo games were not just nostalgia fuel for me. I actually believe that they are some of the best fucking designs for games ever. The Mount Coronet theme when you're actually going through the deeper sections of it to the top, is one of my favorite themes of all time. Because it has all you need for a proper theme of urgency and, like, alertness. And it's great. You can't go wrong with that. Like, I would even use that in so many things if I could. It just builds up so nicely, and it actually feels like you're alone in a mountain. Like, my areas of note that I will always adore in anything will always be a snow-covered mountain that you have to run up. It's why I loved Oracle of Seasons so much. It's why I love the Rito Village in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. It's just beautiful. All of it. In Tears of the Kingdom, I love the dungeon for other reasons, because that dungeon was amazing. But getting up to it was a pain in the ass, I, I will admit. Because me, not being used to one of the mechanics they introduced, is like, hmm, I wonder how to get up here. Meanwhile, me looking through my runes and being just completely oblivious to the thing that has the ability to go through solid objects. Yeah, getting rid of the player's bread and butter tools is kind of a nuisance if you're trying to change them out. And welcome back, Kimi. Speaking of which, I might actually play some Tears of the Kingdom tonight. I kind of want to finish more. Oh, right. I need to actually leave a message in a group. Let me just do that. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. 
a ver. A ver. There we are. That's better. How do you do, fellow gamers? Hello, Fluffy. The banana. I'm drawing the gloomy yet fuckable Lyra. Let me show you what I got so far. Like, look at her. She's cute, but also will just freaking chew you out. Look at those eyes. Those soft, pale eyes that I'm gonna have fun just kind of making, like, blank, sort of. You need to do more Tears of Kingdom? So many side things to finish? I know. I want to play Splatoon more! I miss playing Mario Kart with my roller! At the new Splatfest coming in, I might actually take some time out of my life to actually do that. Like, seriously. Grippy socks. No, we're not doing grippy socks. Wait. Okay, I was I was misreading that. I was like, wait, are you in a psych ward? Oh no. Okay, okay. Oof. We're good. 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 I mean, if you got Sherpa socks, we can all appreciate that. Okay. It's too late, navy blue ones. Oh no. Oh no. Do I have to show you my grippy socks? Because I've got some nice grippy socks. They're Sherpa socks. They're hot as fuck in the middle of summer, but they're good. I wonder if I can find a game I like playing and also viewers like watching. I mean... If I can entertain people with my eye voice and just make them really happy as I draw, I think it's a good job. But still, it's like, whatever. Look, you will have people that will not want to be in stream. You'll have some people not show up for various reasons. Like, one of my main reasons why I usually never go to someone else's stream is because I am fucking busy. And I'm really grumpy because I don't want to go to work anymore, but it's like, whatever. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. That makes me happy. That makes me very happy with green. And soon I'll be able to turn off the green. I actually see how it looks right now. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes me happy. All right, Sensei's getting happy. Yeah. Because look, I have had so many bad experiences at that workplace now. The only reason I'm still there is because for some odd reason, whenever I try to get hired anywhere else, no one wants to hire me. Even like if I do all the things correctly, I always ask them, it's like, am I on a blacklist or something? And it's like, no, we just don't want uh, to like hire you. It's like, okay, but why though? Who the fuck is lying about me? Or, like, who's doing something? Because it feels like it's someone else's fault. Because I left on good terms from my grocery store job. The only two that I did not were because they were giving me, like, one hour a week from one of them. And the other one just fired me because they think that I yell at a customer. I have called customer or stupid behind their backs in the break room and everything. But... I'm not going to openly say that unless they actually are yelling at me and they have no reason to do so. Because there's a difference between, oh, they have a bad day, and oh, they're just an asshole. A lot of them are just assholes. And that's why being nice is decent until you're just like, all right, gloves are off, buddy. You did this. And I'm just waiting for the moment for someone to actually do that at this job. Because here's the fucking thing. The managers have my back. Like, they they have actively said, like, Hey, Yang, you're pretty decent at your job, and because you're, like, one of the people that actually stayed for more than three months, this is gonna be, like, my one-year anniversary at working there soon, it's like, you're pretty good. You do your job. You don't cause trouble on purpose. You don't steal anything. You're good. And it's like, gee, is that, like, what it requires to be an actually good worker? I'm saving my, I'm saving Doughboy, don't worry. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to de shrimpify myself and just do better, but still. It's hard. It's it's really freaking hard going to work so often. Especially when they don't listen when you say, hey, can I have some days off? And they go, yeah. But then they don't give the proper days off necessary. Because I'm told them, like, constantly, it's like, hey, I don't, like, can I not work on Thursdays, uh, Thursdays or Fridays? And it's like, yeah, sure. And then they do that and they give me only, like, three days instead of four. And it's like, okay, can I at least have four days? Yeah, sure. Then they put me back on Friday. It's like, why do you do this to me? You know, trying your eighth year at the shop and have reached nothing. See nothing except for ruined wrist and bad back. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, I don't want to work at that shop anymore because it's like, it's it's not good for my mental health or my physical health either because if I keep on being driven off the road because the pavement princesses don't understand, hey, maybe share the fucking road and I won't want to murder your whole family. Yeah. All right, let's see how that looks. All righty, that is good. So... Turn off... Oh, no, we need the boots. Turn off the green. We're getting there. We're getting... Oh, wait. <laughs> I need the green for just a bit longer. I need the green for a tiny, itsy bit more. Oh, alrighty. And her boots are just gonna be, like, simple, like, snow boots, basically. Like, steel-toed. Like, she's meant to look, like, a kind of cobbled together a bit. Hence the, the patches everywhere. Like, old clothes, real nice person, will probably throw you. <laughs> Hope you can get full time from your job in summer. Yeah! Yeah, it's like, so many workplaces don't understand, hey, people want to live, but they also want to eat and pay, like, their mortgage or rent at the same time. So, um, while you're gaining thousands of dollars in profit, can we have, like, a little smack roll of pay? No? Okay. I'm tired of the inshittification. And I will use that word. It is a good word to use. Use your neologisms, everyone. Yes, Dora, I hear you. How the fuck did I do that? Like that, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, me just trying to do everything nice. You just want money to go to Japan? I just want money so I can pay a uh, dog boy to make me a very nice model. <laughs> And also to, you know, pay my electric bill and everything. Because that's a requirement for being an adult. Hooray! And everyone's saying, like, oh, you won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do it. Fuck you, I'm doing it. I'm doing my best. You have no power over me. I pay my bills. Why do all these greedy employees whine about wages? Jacks up the prices on everything. Jacks up the prices on everything, makes everything more expensive, needlessly so. Snorts cocaine off their own, own freaking concubine's back. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make them just, like, cartoonishly evil, but they're basically Captain Planet villains. Honestly, that's what we're fighting against. They're literally just fucking Captain Planet villains. I don't know how else to explain it to anyone. It's like, yeah, Captain Planet isn't really a freaking joke cartoon anymore for some of it. Trying to get assistant manager position. Hmm. You don't want to be branch manager with Ark? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to get the joke. Uh... Arc would be branch manager. Oh my gosh, they're 
there's so many stupid things I could do. Like, I don't think she needs anything else. There's beauty and simplicity, which is very good. Like, it's not the best design, but it's a design I like. And yes, we're listening to chill beats to do Kirby crimes to. Lo-fi beats to kill eldritch gods, too. Alrighty, let's see how that looks. Oh, right, I don't need the green anymore. Green. Good. not be on that one, so. I didn't oopsie. Where is the bike? There you are. What? Are you up here? Yeah, you're on that one. Where are you? Your leg's one? Yes, your legs won. Okay, good. Whew. That looks better. Alrighty. And then we can also give her both. Meanwhile, me just trying to fix everything and make it look perfect, even though I was just talking about perfection, which is not good. Whatever! I work how I work. Just come on. Tell me where it is. There we go. Perfect! Kind of. There we go. Okay. You're in the leg area, aren't you? Yep, you're there. Okay. I assume leg three. Yes, got rid of it. Alrighty. YouTube, you better not be doing that shit of- Oh, are you still watching? No. You got Lego Star- which one, Annie? Will the boob, uh... Unzipping jacket toggle had the boing sound effect when they were sh- Yeah! Reminds me of an article about how making jokes about overly exploited capitalist adventures in video games isn't funny anymore because it's not even a joke now. Yeah! It's like- Hold on. Let me try to explain this to people that don't understand. Because... Captain Planet was a 90s show, I believe. Hold on, hold on. Let me just double check. Captain Planet date. Yeah, September 1990 until December 1992. The sheer factor that Captain Planet, you can look back on and be like, wait a moment, I know this villain, and you can just point to someone now. Is like, yeah, that's one thing. But you can literally just, like, point out an environmental crisis right now that's being caused by literally the same-ish style person and be like, no, we know this person. Like, we fucking need Captain Planet now. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We, we really need him. I'm sorry, I just want to see freaking Elon Musk just be taken out back and just shot with freaking fire. I hate him. I, I hate Elon Musk so much. Like, he is my least favorite person. Also, Republic Commando. Nice. Hmm. 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 They're on sale on Xbox and apparently won't be in the store after this month. Oh, okay! That is, um, concerning. So, Annie, uh... <laughs> we got a speedrun Star Wars. <laughs> I think I'll be using this one. 
Got a spear run the leg of Star Wars. Man, I love Kirby music. Ah, oh, I love Kirby music. Man, I just want to eat that cake that he always has in the freaking openings. Like, I want the good old strawberry shortcakes that Kirby has. They always look so fucking tasty. I might have to make one. Doesn't affect your PC or what whatsoever. Right, because of the capture card. Okay, wait. There's one game I might buy everyone for the most part come summer. It's Heartwood Heroes. Like, I might actually buy that for everyone just to enjoy. Like, Lucky... Lucky Tech and I might hey, just get it. Because I might just want to throw money at people just because. I know what I'm about. Let me just throw money at people. They're just getting off the Xbox. Gotcha. I hate... Okay. I'm going to just say it. I hate Lost Media as a premise. Of like, hey, buy this or else it's gone forever. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. Why would you do this? Like, this will just make people, like, one person get it and then it will be saved on the internet forever. Meanwhile, it's just like, okay, but what if we put it on this console and if someone bought it before, they can have it for free now. Or, like, even at a discounted price. Oh no, that's smart. Like, I get remakes. That's that's okay. I'll accept some remakes, just because. But I don't want to be forced into, like, making some stupid decisions just because some crazy person just doesn't want to remake freaking... I don't know, uh, remake port freaking uh, Star Wars or something. Like, one thing I would kill for is Goldeneye from the N64. But no, that's a movie release game thing. They don't like having movie games anymore, and people are wary to it. I get that they can't keep those servers running forever, but still sad to think about a bunch of things that could be... Uh, things being lost forever. Case in point, um... A lot of 3DS games. So, um, fun fact. There were a bunch of 3DS games that were third party being released in like the last year. I feel Nintendo didn't give a shit because almost all of it was just shovelware. Oh my gosh. Like, there was a Pac-Man S game that was labeled as freaking Phasmophobia. And it's like, hmm, that shouldn't be on there. <laughs> And it was just kind of silly, just looking at it, just thinking, hmm, hmm. Uh, but still. I'm just kind of thinking of all these sad games that I'll be never be able to play. Uh, just because some random bozo said no. Where the fuck does this line go? Where does this line want to go? There. That's a good line. Okay. Well, I feel like coloring her is going to be a weird challenge for me because it's like, I'm going to actually put some effort into it. Not just flat color. Uh, let's do... Let's do a little bit of a bump. That way it's just something decent, but still. Remind the video you saw on... saw about GameSpy? Yeah! Fuck! I remember GameSpy! Shit! So many games. How do I want to handle this? Boot. Well, let's kind of do that more. Yes! <laughs> Nostalgia! Nostalgia's a good thing, sometimes. But I feel like it's abused a lot. Choo-choo, Lucky, your girlfriend's showing up a lot more. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm learning the language. She's saying, call me. <laughs> Fucking, it's, it's just so stupid. Uh, the background I might just do simple, but still. There was a lot of scrambling to get back in that back up, apparently. Yeah. Mm, juice. Tastes like a brain. <laughs> the dodgeball of prophecy strikes again! Fucking amazing. But yeah, trains have been going around a lot more recently, which I am happy for, but also a little upset because they're loud, but whatever. Like, I'm not mad mad, I'm just annoyed mad. That's not like the end of the world. Notice me! No! Freaking amazing. I think the only thing I majorly screwed up on was, like, the shoes, but that's about it. Like, hand, everything could use a little bit of work, but I feel good. And drawing hands has never been a strong suit for anyone. Which layer did I put you on? Fucking there, jeez, ugh. All right, so we're going to do this. Yeah, that looks better. And then you can go here. That looks better. Okay, yeah, it's, that's much better than the sketch. Ah, oh, I've been working on this for three fucking days and it feels good to do. Feels good to finish up more. Let's try to curve that a bit more, maybe. That's nicer. All right, boots are looking good. I just gotta do the bottom part of the other boot and we'll be good. There we go, and then we just gotta actually round it off a bit. There we go. Alrighty. I don't know why I'm getting so philosoph philosophical right now, but I'm feeling good. I start to ship art of me and Train Shan soon. You'll get it! I just gotta design her. I gotta make you wanna fuck her. <laughs> choo choo, Lucky! Choo choo! Uh, you're walking into this trap. Hot train girls in your area! <laughs> Blow her horn and make her go crazy for you. Choo choo, Lucky. Choo choo. I'm still hoping that I can get, like, that fucking train artist to just be like, Hey, you wanna make a game? <laughs> it's like, I don't mind if you say no, just, like... Whatever, but if they actually say fucking yes, I'll just be like, mmm. Oh my gosh, that'd be so amazing. Like, if I ever get that popular or strong in the future, I will fucking use that to my advantage. Just randomly being able to just ask people things. Hello, actual person and not a bot here. Uh, would you like to make a game? <laughs> something, something, Yukari. Yukari would 100% love a train game and she would make sure to smooch all the cute train girls. I know how it goes. Uh, is that the right layer? That needs to be enough. That's two. That works. All right. Smooch the train, waifus. Give them hugs. Wear the dress! Get in the train conductor dress. Which is just... 
The dress is just a Jean overall dress. Oh no, I have made something terrible. Oh fuck, that'd be hilarious though. Just like, hey, we're going to this fancy party. Where are your best clothes? It's like, I'm a conductor. And then you just come in with the Jean overall dress. Sensei has cursed us all. I am cursing everyone and I'm doing it. I have ideas that need to come out, and I'm going to scream until they do. Eh, I can actually be fixed. Hold on. Yeah, that's much better. Alright. Let's take a gander! Line art! Done! So let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks good. Okay, that feels nice to actually fucking do. <sighs> when do you find out Yukari is involved? Yes. Just... <laughs> oh, that's just cursed info, Demi. Oh my gosh. That feels good to get the line art. So... Time to design her. For color. Look at that face. The face of hentai. <laughs> Fucking no! No, 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 I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm not making a joke, no, no, that's, that's, that, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Let's not. Let's move on to color! Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, anyway, color. <laughs> Flats. All right. I feel like doing clothes first, if anything. Hmm. Make the joke in DMs? Never. You are not getting me to make that joke in DMs. I am sorry, not sorry. You are playing with fire there, Lucky. Okay, let's let's try to actually think of a good design for the bell for the color. Like, how does this look? Mm. Okay, this song just makes me think of fucking Grease with the "Tell me more, tell me more." Yeah, it's kind of a bluish. I like that. That's that's nifty. Flat, 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 get color, get color, get color. <laughs> Fucking, oh my gosh. Yeah, using thick lines makes me smile. Let's see, what would be a good gray to use for this? Actually, you know what, flats. Staff, that's, that's better. I like that blue a bit. Shit, that might actually be good. I can work with it, I can work with it. Blue metal. Yeah, I like it. The blue staff. At some point, you should probably just learn the color as mask pillow that speeds up initial. Okay! Fuck it! Drac! Teach! Please! <laughs> Please teach me! I need to learn! I should actually save so I actually know what the fuck I'm doing. And I could also just look at over here if I want to do that, because I might do like a little orange right here. Okay, so far this door for you need your liner all in a single layer group. It's in the ink! There's the ink right there! Do 
Just so you know, this is like 1.5 gigabytes on my system. <laughs> this is the biggest drawing I've actually ever done. Oh my gosh, this is this is so weird. I'm used to it being small. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I have it all in this group right here under ink. Because if I turn this off, it all goes away. That's RAM size. Anyway, oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Casually just consuming 1.5 gigabytes of data. <laughs> Slaps ass that can store 1.5 gigabytes of data! <laughs> Wait, does that actually pick up? Hold on. Yeah, it does! <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay! <laughs> I am easily amused! Fuck! <laughs> I'd be very proud if one of you clipped it, please. <laughs> Fucking, oh my gosh. I could use that for... I could use that for a lot. Oh my gosh. Alright. Colorized mask tool. Okay, let's let's see what that is. Let's let's go here. Uh this. Colorized mask tool. Oh shit. Oh. So do I just like click on everything? Between the band-aid and the eyedropper tools. I just clicked on stuff. What the fuck did you do? Eh? Oh. That literally makes it a coloring book. What the fuck? That's wonky. Oh, okay. Yes, you just draw a single line of color where you want the color to appear. Okay. So do I just like do this? Hmm? Concern? Does this like do anything or what? It'll fill every space with that color. Hit the update button that appeared. Where? Where is it? Oh, it's updating. If you can handle me at my worst, you might not be able to handle me at my best. They're rather similar. Okay, so it's colorizing. I see that over there. Let's wait a moment. No, I should make one layer just gray. Like I usually do. That way I can actually see what needs to be colored. You like bad boys? Because you're in luck. I'm bad at everything. <laughs> that is taking a while. done. Nope. It made everything colored. Yeah, I think it got everything. Yeah, it got everything. Gotcha. So it's like... Yeah, it selects everything. You need more than one of these lines to work. Oh! Hold on! I think I get it. So, like, do this, do this. Like, does it, like, balance it out or what? I'm gonna try it. Hold on. 
Like, do I just draw the lines there and just, like, call the day? Okay. I'm gonna try something. Let's try that. It's taking its sweet time. I need to see. Change the color for when you want different colors to occur. Okay, hold on. I kind of been doing stupid stuff. Well, shit. Well, we're gonna be here for a moment. I'm learning, I'm learning. It won't work unless you have more than one color. Gotcha! So I'm gonna try some experiments. That's the things for a background color. Okay. We'll try our experiments. I want to see if this actually fucking works. Because if this fucking works like you say it is, I will be happy. I'm just experimenting, don't mind me. So this all is one layer. Like, it will color everything, right? It definitely works. Having said that, it might run faster if you flatten the line art. Mm. Then what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to save it as another KRA document so that I can experiment with this. That way I know like what exactly it's doing. Yeah, that just deleted immediately. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Can I, like, copy and paste just the whole layer? Krita? <laughs> Krita? Krita! Uh-oh. I think I made uh, Krita explode a little bit. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment and we'll we'll see. Made Krita go boom. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I tried to copy and paste the ink layer rather than the freaking other layer. We're good. We're good. Don't don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me finding ways to make things explode. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh fuck me. Fuck. 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 Okay. Okay. Give it. A, give it a moment. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's 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 just that's just amazing. Merge with group. Okay, hold on. Merge group. Merge group. Merge group. Not merge with layer below. Um, that should be good. Uh, merge with layer below. 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 There. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to properly copy and paste this. Uh, how big I made the make this? Oh, hold on. Uh, resize canvas. Yeah, five thousand by six thousand. Okay. Okay. New. Let's make it five thousand by six thousand. Great. Oh, I can't believe I keep on finding just all these broken things. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, don't save that. We'll see how this works. We're gonna do some random shit. And I'm gonna do my best in making this work. Learning is commencing. This is Sensei's learning time. I just realized I got rid of my color that I want to use for the thing. Fuck! It was like a bluish one, right? Let me just... Uh, no, not that. Uh, you? You. So do I just, like, draw circles and, like, just do whatever?
Because if that's how it works, then I'm gonna try some ideas. I wanna try some things just to see. Oh, you don't have to merge everything? I was just suggesting the liner be merged to make the tool run fast. Yes, just touch the color where you want to. Okay. So, I'm going to be testing some things. Don't mind me. This is just me thinking and imagining, like, what the fuck I would do. Um, I like oranges or red, because that will probably look good. Third train, okay! Hong Kong, yes, we know. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of make her a bit bright in some areas. Now then. You need to be red and orange, too, so we'll just do that. Oop, nope, nope, you belong on color. Candle. We'll just do a yellowish thing just for here. And for right here, we'll do a bit darker. This is just kind of weird with how I'm going to, like, do it. She's on the way to see Lucky. 2.5 hours left for work. Because if that's the case, yay, we get to have tech back soon, and then we'll kidnap them. Uh, I'm gonna give her some, like, sort of faded gray eyes. Uh... <laughs> that looks spooky! <laughs> Doofy, but it's great. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, let's do that. Things like this are why I recommend keeping tool options dock or visible. Oh, it's on the side. Like, it's right there. She's seen some shit. She has seen very much shit. Let's do like a yellow outline for the head. Like a creamy puffy thing. Alright, what kind of gloves will she wear? This is gonna be so weird when I actually do it. Let's try some dark. Ooh, yes, okay. should I give her? White? Maybe. Mm. Gray. Um, I didn't want to go red for the ones up here. I'll go for more of teal color for them right here, too. Not that kind of teal, but like, almost like a smoother teal. That's a better one. Sky blue. This is just all experimentation. It's not anything final. I am learning, so here's hoping that learning goes well. Well. 
And she's gonna be like super pale for skin. Kirby! Yep. Yeah. Reminder, you should only be coloring with the color as my school, not the paintbrush. I didn't know that! <laughs> fuck! Oh, fuck. Okay. See, I didn't know that. I... I didn't know. See if it caught it? What do you mean? I don't think it did. Tool options update. Okay. Oh, it's still taking a while. Drag, it's still taking forever. Hmm. They can't handle the amount of power, no. Takes a couple seconds for me. I don't know. I mean, it's quicker than last time for sure, but still, this is, this is concerning me. I mean, she does, Lucky. It's like, it's layered. It's just the coat, but still. Oh my gosh. Please, please work. Do I dare? Do I dare see? Please, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you, Colorized Mask Cool. Okay. That's a bit wonky, but okay. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I mean, it does give me a feel for some things, but even then, it's like, I think part of it is just whatever. These aren't the true colors? Okay. What do you mean? Jeez. And I do like the blue look. I think I'm just gonna keep with my old method for now. Like, I'll go back to the original thing, but still. Okay, I'm, I'm curious, hold on, like, uh, hold on. How do I do that? Convert, convert to paint layer. Oh! Okay! I see! I just wanted to see how that looked. That actually looks really fucking good. That looks really fucking good! I like that color combo. Okay, this is giving me ideas. Don't worry. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to keep it up with my original method. I'm just going to use this as like a test thing. And honestly, I like how it looks right now for some of it. But even then, I need to actually go through and do some things. Like this is being changed for sure. But um, I need to use the restroom. I'm gonna be right back. You all be good. Don't do anything stupid.
Okay, here I am. I am back. I return. So I've got some ideas about what I want to do. I'm going to keep with my current method for now, just because I, I'm more comfortable with it. And it lets me actually do more, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of do some things and then we'll be good. Like, I need to learn how to use the colorized mask tool better, and I will do my best doing so. So, um, don't mind me. I'm just going to, like, copy some things that I got from over here, which, um, some of them are really fucking good ideas. Like, I like this blue and red. I just realized that they're fucking, like, Metagross colors a bit, which is nice. Wait. That colored in everything. I'm gonna try something. So, um... One thing I noticed is that it tried to get everything in there when I didn't want it to. And it tried to, like, fill in everything. But over here... No, it got everything. It just got everything weirdly. I mean, the colors math school is only really useful for flat color image stage. Any gradients or color mixing? Mmm. So if I get rid of that... And I'll try it again, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm not stupid. Anyway, um... Let's try this again. And just open up a new thing. And I'm going to try to use more color this time. I'm going to try to actually do it properly. Let's do this proper. If you don't put color on it, it'll guess. Okay. Good. Now that I know... I'm actually going to try something. Copy layer. Paste here. That does not work. Is it this layer? Shit. So that... What? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha! So, I actually... You know what? Fuck it. I'll try it here. Yes, I'll keep watching YouTube. Don't mind me. I have wholeheartedly adopted the practice of eating snacks with chopsticks to avoid dusty fingers. It's a good practice to have if you hate that stuff. But anyway, um... Let's close that. Anyway, uh... So keep the colorized mask tool as colorized mask. We do this. So that will fill in the layers. Cool. So what if I... Like, hmm. Like, I like some of it, but I don't like all of it. So this will be my test batch for, like, the left-hand side one, and this one will be, like, my actual one. So I'll use the proper colorized mask pool thing, and then we'll see what we do. Okay, let's go. So I definitely want some of these colors. Some of them are really fucking good. Every empty space needs a color stroke. Exactly. Let me just kind of... I guess I'll convert it to a paint layer and just see, like, what works. What doesn't. Like, this blue for the bell is nice. I'm actually going to make it a little bit darker, probably. Let me just make sure that I actually have it listed. There we go. So let's make it a little bit darker. Not, like, super dark, but not, like, amazingly dark. No, that's not the right tool. Just lay out the dots. And then... Make it a little bit brighter. For in here? No. Let's make it a tad darker right now. Not like amazingly dark, but it dark enough. Going to normal paintbrush so long as you're on the colorized mask there. I would do my best to still use the colorized mask because it's like, look, I, I want to not fuck up. So, yeah. I think the fire is okay-ish for now, so I'm just gonna, gonna use that. 
Yeah, I like that kind. Mm. Wait, duh, I need it as a blue fire. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm... I meant to have it as a blue fire. All this time I meant to have it as a blue fire. Ah, <sighs> okay. Cyan, yeah, I'm gonna do like the... The outer will be lighter, will be darker, and this one will be lighter. Let's see how that looks. But this does mean that I need to use the paint bucket and change the color on the actual thing. So let's turn off the colorized math layer and change that. Okay. Yeah, I have to redraw that. Fuck me. Okay, fire redraw. Yeah, I need a blue fire it. It's fine, it's fine. It just means we get to change it up and actually make it look different. Reverse, that way it just keeps like magical and it's all weird still because I want her to be weird but not like weird weird you know what I mean like unnatural but not concerningly so there we go you're good thank you so much for all your help seriously Drac it means a lot like bright fucking blue don't mind me just doing crazy shit I am just a weird fox because I like designing shit that does mean that I'm gonna have to turn off the flame or at least get rid of it which is kind of meh but still Yeah, it's it's already fitting her theme more because I don't want her to be like red as the main flame. I want her to have it be blue because blue is good for souls. And since she's holding it upwards, like kind of cracked like up a little bit. Uh, after this, I'm gonna eat some curry and I'm gonna be very happy. All right, which one was the fire? Not you. Not you. Not you. You? You are the fire. Ah, that's better. You should also be gone. Okay. Right, this freaking theme. Alright. That looks nicer. That's better. We're experimenting. Our time I'll show you how to colorize the color line art cleanly. Please do. I'd love it. Alright, tallow candle. I need to be a bit brighter because it is underneath a flame. Okay, I love this picking right here. What? Yeah, you better be working. Okay, that's that. What color pants should I give her? Um, let's kind of give her some frayed patches, like right there. Uh, 
Like, she's meant to look a little bit lopsided and everything. Hey, Karen, good luck. Thank you. I really see you use exclamation points, and I'm like, wait, did I do something wrong? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Let's get the purple for the knot. Let's actually make it a bit more blue here. Um, faded. Why are you like that? Hmm. A little bit more faded. Hmm. A bit more faded here, too. Ah, I see. Hmm. I'll just kind of give her the basic brown feeling. Basic brown. Nothing crazy. Sure, Traverse Town Battle Theme Copyright. Dust Me Islands is fine, though. Apparently, but it's like, I'm just doing my best. Actually, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm actually going to change it. Because this is nicer. Oh yes, hello again, Ben. I know this may look a bit weird for what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best to actually like do it. Like we're, we're doing some shady things, but it worked good, we're good. So, what about the hatch? hatch? Wait, right, blue skin? Those eyes could use the little No, I said it was too big, but whatever. Alright, let's see. I still like the brim of the hat, but I think that it needs a bit more work. Let's actually look up to you. How do you do your hats? Your hat is very good. I might actually steal that color just because I freaking can. Let's see. That's kind of a yellowy. I don't want like yellow, yellow for you, but that actually goes well. Um, hmm, I could try black. Let's try black. Like black for some things. The boots, though, need steel toe, so steel toe boots for sure. Actually, you need to be more. because uh, we're actually beneath that. Okay. We're going to go brown for the boots because she has hiking boots, but I'm going to make them more faded because I can. I like this. This makes me happy. Uh, this is actually Aquastar as a remix from Kirby 64. Yep, Aquastar remix. Very nifty, isn't it? You had a dumb idea for a game? Oh no. Are we doing dumb game ideas again? I hope not, but I also hope yes, please. Let's actually kind of yoink that color for you for a moment and just kind of... Mm. Did I forget to erase a line? I did forget to erase a line. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta erase the line. Okay. X. 
smooth you out. Perfect! Now, no one will notice except for me because I'm noticing everything. Fucking. Okay. okay, that's better. Props to anyone who actually knows this song. So, um, yeah, this song is a song. It's from a game about songs. The player gets the final kill or is an impactful theme, their character's theme plays. I mean, that's just general DM etiquette anyway. Alright, what kind of hair should she have? I do kind of like blue, but I also like sort of like the black right there. Ugh. Imagine that I'm just snag that color and just kind of be here. Actually, wait, no. This. Hold on. That is kind of good right there. But actually, black might be good. Mmm. Let's go a bit of a faded black. get into the blue range and then do like sort of maybe let's try that for down here and let's actually do white for the background too just because that way I remember it uh blue we were at like bluish bluey bluey blue hmm Gotta get the merchant theme. Oh no. Let's see. Blue, black, and orange seem to be her main things. So let's go up here. I hope that works. I don't know if it will work. We're gonna experiment and see. Anywho, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Nah, that's too black. Um. Wait, no, I don't want her boots to be brown anymore. I want them to be black too. Maybe a short jingle? No! It's actually a really nice thing. I noticed she has like a technology book here. That's actually pretty cool. Fuck. Hmm. Maybe like this right here from that? That might be good. Experimentation with design. I don't know how it will look. I just hope it looks good. That way she, like, looks like she stole the freaking bell, which would honestly be adorable. She's like, so what did you do? It's like, I stole a bell. 
Can you ever, like, imagine coming back from a trip and just like, yeah, I stole this. It's like, oh, okay. Do you want to return it? No. It's just there now with you forever. It's just yours. This that one is actually copyrighted. That's not. Uh, you. Ah, uh, I will play this game eventually on stream for Atlee I Shally. It's just adorable. It gets repetitive for some of the voice lines, but it's adorable and I love it. It's one of my comfort games. And it's one that I love and appreciate. Uh, I am... I am mad. And I am kind of just weird. But I'll be good. Alright, let's 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 think about other colors. I think I'm almost done with them. I just gotta think of, like, a color for, like, the loves. Uh, let's go like... No, 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 no. Go like right here for the gloves, maybe. I don't know how this will look. That's the only issue. Yeah, it's like I don't know how it will look, and I hope it looks good. As the only thing. Because like it's it's kind of a kind of a wary thing I have. Alright, so that's the, the, the what kind of I don't know what looks the And oddly enough this is a freaking battle theme which just makes it even better. Got a crash, work tomorrow morning. Aw, oh, you have a wonderful night, Ajura. And come summer, we'll actually be able to do a lot more, so you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and hope you have a wonderful sleep. Sleep well, rest up, and become more awakened. I got work tomorrow too, but I'm just gonna try my best to actually like to deal with it. A good crash, yeah. Just crash, just fall asleep. Alright, so let's just take a look at their hats. They have them split up like that. I kind of want to do... Mm... I can go for more of the cream color, but I still want to be faded a bit, so let's kind of go for like that. And then let's just kind of take this again and just Let's have her be matching. And then that just leaves her hair. That's that's gonna be an issue. Um, hmm. Let's go for a faded brown, maybe. Let's try that. Let's hope that kind of works. I'm hoping, but hey. We can all hope. We can all appreciate and dream and meme with a little bit dark on you guys. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's push the button and hope it works. Mm. So anyway, uh, this may take a moment. So how is everyone doing? <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot them to smoke. No, I forgot the smoke. Eh, 
Whatever, I can do that later. Give it a tick. Because if it's just the smoke, that's not a big deal. But even then, I am... I'm curious what will happen. Okay, colorize, colorize faster, please. I wish to zoom out. Ah, uh, anyway! Ah, ah, ah. No, that's a, that's a big gear Ah, oh, whatever. Hmm, 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 hmm. I should probably update the Discord sometime tonight, but anyway, this might actually be just me finishing up for tonight soon. I'm probably gonna draw some more later, but still. Uh, 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 sensei learning. Like, I was going to do something else, but I'm just kind of ravishing, and if this actually fucking works, I'll be happy. Uh, please work, please work, please work. That's all I'm hoping, that's all I'm hoping, that's all I'm hoping. It's halfway done. I don't like this. I also like it, but I also don't like it. Me just screaming internally, hoping everything goes well. Fucking get motivated to do art after stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he, 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 he. The morning threw me off. That's understandable. I'm gonna check my email. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh shit! I get paid tomorrow. Right. Oh, my phone service is getting upgraded for free. Hooray! Uh, anyway, there's nothing I really need. Cool, cool, depressing, cool. Uh, nothing I really need because they just want me to spend money. Alright, cool. All right, let's let's zoom out and oh no. Um. Nope. Nope. Oopsies. Oopsies. That um, that kind of failed. <laughs> ah, let's let's um. Okay, what went wrong? A lot went wrong. Like, I can make up the legs, but, um, that's about it. Let's move it. I was on the wrong layer! <laughs> I mean, it's a good color composition, but it's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Technology, you screwed me over a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that's actually kind of silly. The paint layer. Fucking, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good. I, I'll just have to, like, work on this a little bit off stream. I'm, I'm gonna try it again. Um, don't mind me, I'll, I'll show it off later. I'm just kind of exasperated now. <laughs> who to rate into? Who to rate into? Okay. Oh, fuck. That, that was kind of funny. Like, this giant buildup, it's like, it's doing things, it's doing things, it doesn't do things well. <laughs> Alright, who to rate into? Ooh, Emsley's birthday's going on. Uh, you know what? It's Emsley's birthday. Let's go rate into her. Raid and slay. Yeah, we've we've had fun. It it was kind of stupid. Anyway, if you have the emotes, do good old fashioned clue for raid. I shall see you tomorrow, actually, because I'm going to be streaming after I work, because I want to do Hades at around ten o'clock, because I'm crazy. But anyway, I shall see you all later. Thank you all for coming. You have a lovely time. <laughs>